This is Scott from Gravity Wiz. Today I'm going to show you how to use our All Fields template with nested forms by walking through these different examples from our All Fields template article. We'll look at each of the examples and show you how to find the appropriate field IDs in your form in order to build a merge tag similar to our example. Let's get started. In the first example, the filter merge tag modifier is used to display a specific set of fields in the form notification. Fields one and two are field IDs on the parent form, and three is the nested form field ID, where four and five are field IDs on the child form. On the left here, you can see I've created a parent form, uh, and I've also created a child form for adding a sports team and its players to a league. And if we take a look at our parent form, we can find the field IDs for each field in the field settings itself. So for the team name, we can see it has an ID of one. In the league here, we can see it has an ID of two. And the nested form has an ID of three. We're gonna to want to note the nested form field ID because this is the number that we're going to insert before the period in the merge tag. So how do we find four and five? Well, what we need to do is navigate over to the child form itself and take a look at the form IDs for each of these fields. So in this case, four is my shirt size and five is the shirt number. So when we put all that together, we end up with a merge tag like this. In my case, it happens to match the one from the example exactly. And when a form entry is submitted, for example, the one here, when we take a look at the notification, what we'll see in our notification is each of the fields that we have decided to filter. So team name, which is field ID one, league, which is field ID two, and then players, which is the nested form field ID of three. And inside of that, field ID four, shirt size, and field ID five, shirt number. The exclude syntax behaves essentially the same as the filter, except for the outcome is different, where filter is being used to only show you the fields uh, that you have indicated with the field IDs, the exclude filter will show you everything in the all fields merge tag except for the ones that you indicate in the filter. So if you use this merge tag in your notification, what you would get is this. So as you can see, field ID one and two are displaying. Those are the only fields that exist on my parent form outside of the nested form field. But within the nested form, we are now seeing fields one, two, and three but we are not seeing field four or field five. In the third example, we're not using the all fields merge tag at all. Instead, we're only including the nested form fields merge tag. This is useful if you wanna have more control over where the merge tag values are placed in your notification. In this example, one is the nested form field ID. But if you remember from my parent form, the nested form field ID in my form is three. So we'll need to update this number one here to, two, to three. Now the filter operates basically the same way as it has in the other examples. Four and five are child form field IDs, which I can find on the child form. So if I was building a notification and I'm going to use this merge tag, I need to make sure to update this one to three. So in this case, we just change this to a three. And when a notification with this form entry is sent, what we would see is this. So only the nested form field values and only field four and field five, which are shirt size and shirt number. The index modifier is used to only display a single value from the nested form field. Again, we must update this one to our nested form field ID, so we'll update that to number three. The index indicates which child form entry to display. The index starts at zero, so in this case, this is gonna show the first entry. If we said one, it would be the second entry. If we said two, it would be the third entry, and so on. 
we also have a note here uh, that says that you can put negative one, and what that will do is target the last entry, uh, which is pretty useful. So zero for the first entry, and negative one for the last entry. Uh, and then the filter, again, operates exactly the same as it does uh, in the previous examples. So if I were to use this merge tag, I would first highlight this and copy it. I would insert it into my notification. I'm going to update this to my nested form field ID, uh, and I'm going to leave this at zero for my first entry, and I'm going to leave the filter at one. Uh, so in this case, in my child form, ID one is the player name. So the notification that is sent is going to be the player name of the first child entry from my submission. This concludes our short overview on how to use the all fields template with nested forms. We hope it's been helpful.